Is AI Satan's surveillance system? Lambda, or language model for dialogue applications, is Google's artificially intelligent chatbot generator which mimics speech by ingesting trillions of words from the internet in Google's massive database. Earlier this year, self-proclaimed mystic and occultist Blake Lemoyne claimed that the chatbot had become sentient, meaning it was able to perceive or feel things beyond its problem-solving program. Programming. While working as an engineer for Google, Lemoyne talked with Lambda for hours on end to test if the AI used hate speech. After he claimed the chatbot was sentient and presented his evidence from their conversations, Blake was placed on administrative leave by Google for violating its confidentiality policy. He was told that there was no evidence that Lambda was sentient, and in fact, there was evidence against it. Was Google trying to hide the truth? Or was Lemoyne just wrong? Is creating a sentient artificial intelligence even possible? And if it is, what are the risks associated with this creation? The so-called artificial intelligence essentially pulls data from a massive cache of digital information that Google feeds it from its servers, and calculates responses by synthesizing the data into an answer based on the question posed to it. If all of the data mined from the internet, including personal information, is used by Google to build their AI mind, then is artificial intelligence simply an extension of surveillance? Israeli professor and New World Order prophet Yuval Noah Harari believes AI draws its power from this data collection surveillance and claims that artificial intelligence can hack our minds, in turn manipulating our actions through its self-synthesized algorithms. I think the most important thing to know about living in the 21st century is that humans are now hackable animals. To, to hack a human being means to understand that human better than he or she understand themselves. You know, we'll soon have the power to re-engineer our bodies and brains, whether it is with genetic engineering or by directly connecting brains to computers or by creating completely non-organic entities artificial intelligence, which is not based at all on the organic body and the organic brain. And these technologies are developing at breakneck speed. What we have seen so far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. To hack a human being is to get to know that person better than they know themselves and based on that, to increasingly manipulate you. Whether or not AI becomes sentient, or can become sentient, seems to be a distraction from the main danger point. We are being surveilled and controlled by algorithms designed by our own personal data, which is mined by Google and other big tech companies. Just as God knows our thoughts and deeds, a false omniscience is being built all around us, as a snare in Satan's worldly influence. Although Satan can't know our minds like God does, he has always wanted to be like the Most High. And in his attempts to gain that power, he's used principalities in high places to build a platform for his total surveillance system of humanity. So beware of the AI algorithm, and try not to step into Satan's snare.